My name is Eric Huber. I am the East Central Illinois Region Manager for Precision Planting. Going to take just a few minutes to talk about Panorama and Panorama.ag. So as I think about Panorama, essentially what it is, is it is extending that 2020 pixel for pixel from the 2020 monitor, going up through a cloud, and then putting that information uh, in your hand on a phone or on a laptop for further analysis. So as I think about how this all pulls in, it begins in the cab. That 2020 is there to take all the sensor information from a planting pass, a sprayer pass, a combine pass, whatever it might be, and it's designed to alert the grower to issues that they need to be aware of right now to make sure that we set the yield bar high, that we get spray efficacy correct, uh, or we're correcting, collecting the right information from a harvest perspective. Once we get done with that in-field pass, now it's time to begin to analyze that information. And we can do that in several different ways. The first thing is going to the phone or to the laptop. We can go in, we can start to compare layers, we can compare, uh, say, say yield to hybrid or yield to good ride or yield to furrow moisture, whatever it would be. And that gives us the ability to start to tie that loop together and help us begin to analyze the decisions that we made at the time the pass was being done. The other pieces then that this allows us to do is uh, we can collaborate with other cooperators that are out there. The first and probably the most important would be the dealer. So if we connect through a cell modem, that now gives us a, a near live feed to the cloud. If the dealer is brought in as a cooperator to that operation, they would be able to refresh the, the page, see exactly where that implement is, and start to see things like voltages, amperages, commands, configurations, and begin to help troubleshoot that process much, much faster. The other types of analysis would be uh, being able to sit down and say, okay, did I operate the way that I meant to in this given field? How was this sensor doing? How was that row doing? And we can start to break down uh, per row, per nozzle information to see how that piece of equipment is running. We can also then share that information with other advisors. That could be through a, an API, platforms like FieldView or John Deere Ops Center. Uh, or it could be to download those raw 2020 files and to be able to send them or upload them into a different place or platform. The last piece then that I think is important and really worth discussing is now since one monitor can connect to the cloud, we can connect multiple monitors in an operation to that cloud. And what that means is we can begin to share every data layer uh, from the pass that you're making with another machine that is in that field. We don't need line of sight, we just simply need this cellular connection. So we can have two machines simultaneously running and sharing all of their layers, or we could have one machine that's planted part of it, and then the next day be in with another machine, pull that data in and begin to have one machine react off of the coverage and information from the machine prior to it. So a tremendous amount of value built in as well around scouting, um, I'll say Panorama is very much in its infancy, but if you're interested in learning more, go to your local dealer or you can go to panorama.ag for more information.